Okay, could we use water as a refrigerant? Uh, it's cheap. Definitely easy to find. But could it be used as an effective refrigerant in a refrigeration system? Well, one of the good things about it, it absorbs a lot of heat when it boils. Uh, 970 BTUs per pound, uh, about the highest of anything else. Uh, but does it make a good refrigerant? Well, some of the things it has to have, it has to boil and condense at reasonable temperatures. Uh, it's fairly reasonable. One problem is it does freeze to a solid at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's not so good. It boils at 212 Fahrenheit, and that's maybe a little high, but if we lowered the pressure on it, it would boil at lower temperatures. Well, maybe we could use it. So, uh, let's, uh, let's kind of look at a chart and see what it would take to make refrigerant boil at temperatures to say, work in an air conditioner. Okay, here's a chart. Now, if you look at this chart, let's say we're trying to air condition. And if you look at this at 45 degrees, uh, you can see, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, you can see we're very, very low uh, in our suction pressure. We're 29.62 inches of water column, 7,600 microns, 7,620 microns. Uh, we can't make a compressor that's going to effectively do that. Plus, it's going to be deep vacuum. And one thing most air conditioning systems don't want is to run their low side to vacuum. Because if there's a leak, it sucks air. So, the problem with using water is it takes a lot of of energy and a lot of pretty high-end equipment <clears throat> to get that thing down to those lower vacuum temperature or lower vacuum pressures. So what it becomes is a very inefficient refrigerant. <clears throat> it takes too much power to make uh, any sort of refrigeration happen. So the compression system Water just doesn't work. But we do actually use water as a refrigerant. We use it as a throwaway refrigerant in swamp coolers. So why does it work there? Well, number one, I can throw it away. Number two, it has an affinity for air. In other words, water will evaporate, boil, below 212 degrees if there is air that doesn't have a lot of water in it. In other words, low humidity air. It will evaporate and it will pull the 970 BTUs per pound that water will pull. So if I use it in a swamp cooler, in a dry humidity area then the water does evaporate goes into the air and it absorbs heat like any other refrigeration system would do the result is cooled air but also higher humidity air so it is used as a refrigerant for uh, swamp cooler applications in dry desert areas so water is only used just for things like swamp coolers. It's really not an effective refrigerant in the compression refrigeration system.